you see the backdrop switch up fall is here babe welcome or welcome back to my channel hey so i told you all in my most recent products that i want to use up video that i have really really been focusing offline on products that i already have open so i can get them up out of here because i have made using products that i already have open a priority i have been going through products like crazy that being said it is time for another empties video but before we get into today's video please make sure that you are subscribed and be sure to hit that notification bell boo so you don't miss when i upload another video and if you enjoyed today's video i'd greatly appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up but if you give me a thumbs down nobody really cares because they can't see it anymore and if you are so inclined to shop any of the products that i mentioned here today please make sure that you shop via the links down below in the description box because it really helps to support my channel thank you so much I appreciate you. In an effort to keep my own self sane when I'm linking all of this for you all in the description box, I'm gonna categorize this. So let's start with skincare. First skincare product I used up is a mini of the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. And if you all watch my most recent haul, you will know that I got some PR from Youth to the People. Oh my god i absolutely love this cleanser especially on days when i'm really sweaty or days like today when i actually have on makeup so i'll be using this as my second cleanse on today this cleanser is great to give your face a fresh start after all the dirt oil sweat and makeup you might experience throughout the day and i'm so grateful that i already have a re-up except it's the big daddy with the pup okay get you some Thank me later. I also used up this Three Ships Refresh Papaya and Salicylic Foaming Cleanser. And I may or may not have mentioned this previously in a haul, maybe sometime last year. Don't get me the line. Three Ships is a woman owned and operated clean skincare brand. I find that although it has enzymes and chemical exfoliants in it, this is a really, really gentle cleanser. And because it's such a gentle cleanser, I really love to use this during my morning skincare routine. And I already have a backup of this. Another cleanser I used up is this Pharmacy Clean B Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. And respectfully Pharmacy, I don't know if I necessarily identify this as an ultra gentle cleanser, Personally, I tend to use this cleanser on days when I've washed my hair and I have product all over my face or on the days where I have slathered on some makeup. I do have pretty dry skin, so this cleanser in particular, I think would be a better fit for someone with more oily or even normal skin. But this, this wasn't gentle at all. It wasn't gentle at all. I also squeezed the life out of this tube of the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Pore Perfecting Cleansing Gel. And this was actually included in like a bundle with the Dr. Gross Extra Strength Peel Pads, which are a favorite, but anyway this has a really rich luxurious lather and it gives a really good thorough cleanse to the skin without leaving the skin feeling stripped and dry i really really enjoy this cleanser so i'll definitely repurchase i also used up this youth to the people kombucha plus 11 percent aha exfoliation power toner and i don't know about this one exfoliation power toner is right because not only does this have 11 percent aha this also has lactic and glycolic acid so if you're new to skincare or you don't typically use a lot of actives in your skincare routine this might be a little spicy but anyway i'm glad that i got the mini of this toner because to me it was just okay now if you've been around for a little bit and you tune into my faves as well as my vlogs you'll know that i much prefer this youth to the people mandelic plus superfood unity exfoliant as an exfoliant toner while this is a much more gentle exfoliating toner from used to the people I find that I enjoy the look and feel of my skin after this much more than I do the other toners that I mentioned after using this my sebaceous filaments are gone my skin is brighter and smoother and it just looks really plump and hydrated after using this which I absolutely love so I'm repurchasing do yourself a favor, click the link down below. I also used up this Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution, and this is just an affordable gem. This toner is absolutely phenomenal on my face, but I love to use it under my underarms as well as in my bikini area for any ingrowns and hyperpigmentation. This, this will get you where you need to be, okay? I even put Mama Tresses on game when it comes to this toner and she absolutely loves it as well. This is another chemical exfoliating toner, so you want to be careful if you're just introducing this into your skincare routine. But if you are battling ingrowns, dark spots, or hyperpigmentation, 
get you some get you some last but not least i use up this heritage store rose water toner and this is one of my absolute favorite affordable hydrating toners this is for dry to combination skin i have really really dry skin and because this toner has hyaluronic acid in it like damn near everything else that they make for skincare these days. This is really hydrating and plumping and just helps my skin just look really glowy after I use it. In addition to hydrating my skin and preparing my skin for my serums, this also really helps to tighten and refine my pores as well. And in my opinion, especially compared to some of the other products that I've mentioned here today, this is extremely affordable. So go to get it. Don't want to get it. So those are my skincare empties. Let's get started with my hair empties. So first up, I use this HH Cosmetics Moisturizing Thickening Gel. And if you watched my most recent video, you know that I love to use this thickening gel for a pre-poo. This has been one of my go-to pre-poos for the last couple of months. When I do actually take the time to do my hair, this has been my go-to pre-poo treatment. Fantastic ingredients, so softening, so moisturizing, and the slip. This pre-poo does get a little bit messy during the application, but I love how it performs in my hair so much. I don't even care about the mess. I'm gonna get in the shower anyway. All of that to say, I already have a backup of this gel in my stash and I have more in the mail. Yes, there are more coming in the mail. And if you care to love yourself and your hair, make sure you check out HH Cosmetics down below in the description box. I'll have a link and a coupon code because you deserve, you deserve. So I finally used up the Eden Body Works Almond Marshmallow Hydration Serum. This didn't really work well as a styler in my hair and while it has fantastic slip and I'm able to detangle extremely easily, I didn't find that this was very hydrating to my hair either. So when I finally got around to using this up during a pre poo session, I doctored it up with one of these Ayurvedic growth oil concoctions that Sheree sent me and I absolutely loved how this performed in my hair. I can't really recommend recommend this for its intended purpose for people with hair like mine, but as a pre-poo, it works extremely well. Will I be repurchasing? Ah, probably not. I've also used up this Curl Smith Curl Quenching Conditioning Wash, and this is from their Moisture Recipe line. This actually used to be a staple. Let me tell you why it's not no more. This cold wash does well at cleaning my scalp. It's really softening and moisturizing to my hair, and I'm even able to finger detangle when I use this cold wash. But we're just not gonna act like Curl Smith's marketing ain't problematic on this channel. We're just, we're not gonna do that. So, for that reason, I will not be repurchasing. I also used up this African Black Soap Clarifying Moisturizing Shampoo from HH Cosmetics and yes, this is called a clarifying and a moisturizing shampoo and that don't make no sense, but it is. It's a clarifying and a moisturizing shampoo. It also has that peppermint oil to stimulate growth and just help the scalp feel nice and fresh and invigorated. A staple, a staple. I already have a backup of this and there are more. There are more coming in the mail. Get you some, okay? Link and coupon code down below. I also used up this Soul Tanicals Shebe KLN Nourishing Locks Flourishing Detox and you know what I'm saying? The package is a little beat up, but y'all gonna be all right. Y'all get the gist. I use this up. I do enjoy that this does really detox the hair, but the smell, it's a little, a little too pumpkin spice for me. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. I will not be repurchasing for that reason among suckers. I also finished up this Chocolate Kinks and Curls Aloha Rose Clay Wash and I really enjoy how this performs in my hair. Personally, while I have preferences, I haven't disliked any of the clay washes that I have tried from Chocolate Kinks and Curls, but let's just call a spade a spade. Yet again, this is another brand that has been raved about by natural hair creators that has yet to reciprocate that support. So respectfully, I will not be repurchasing. I also used up this Nature's Little Secret Coconut milk strengthening deep conditioner and I did feature this in a wash day not too long ago I'll try to link it in the cards I told you all in a recent video that I have been prioritizing using up products that I already have open so I revisited this deep conditioner in a wash day recently and I still love it this deep conditioner has fantastic slips so it distributes through the section extremely well and after I use this my curls kinks coils knots whatever you want to call them are really shiny and defined and I do notice an improvement in my elasticity as well so in my opinion, this is definitely worth a 
repurchase. So if you're interested in trying this or any other Nature's Little Secret, be sure to shop the link as well as the coupon code down below to save on your purchase. I also finally finished up my last bottle of my TGIN Green Tea Super Moist Leave-In Conditioner. You all know if you've been around for a while that this was a staple for me in my regimen. Unfortunately, because capitalism and because brands love to fix what ain't broke, I'm almost certain this has been reformulated since the last time I repurchased it and probably not for the better. So for that reason, in conjunction with TGIN also needed to come up off a check, I will not be repurchasing. I also finished this HH Cosmetics Multi-Use Leave-In Deep Softening Conditioner. This was also featured in my most recent wash day. Like the other HH empties that I've already mentioned in this video, I absolutely love this leave-in conditioner and I already have backups. I ain't gonna hold you. The video of me using this leave-in conditioner is up in the cards and the link as well as the coupon code to get you some is in the description box. This last one for leave-ins, I'm almost hesitant to mention, but this is the Unicurl Aloe Mint Moisturizer leave-in spray for me for me in my hair this is a little bit too lightweight for me to use for leave-in conditioner personally just because the moisture doesn't last as long as I would like but if I wanted to refresh my style or transition to another style to stretch out a little bit longer between wash days this was cool I don't know if this is necessarily worth a repurchase and honestly I don't even know if Unicurl is still in existence but this is cool. I also use this Trey Lux Untie the Knot Nourishing Leave-In Conditioner and you all already know how we feel about Untie the Knot on this channel. Super moisturizing, softening, and detangling and it smells like the holidays. I actually used Untie the Knot on this braid out today and you all already know that I have backups so 10 out of 10, but highly recommend. Next, although it took years, we finally finished up the main choice Cheers Gelato. Shout out to Quinn Ray for putting us all on. This is definitely the best gel that I have tried to date from the main choice. And unfortunately, it's going to be the absolute last gel that I tried from the main choice. The main choice is no longer black owned and has been acquired by a much larger conglomerate. So they have reformulated a number of the products that we know and love. And they left me on red, so I won't be repurchasing. And last but not least for stylers today, I also finished up this Nairobi Rapid Shine Foaming Lotion. You all already know that I love mousse and foam on this channel, but this foam in particular I love during the summer months when it's really hot and humid because this does contain silicones. This helps to coat and protect the strands from frizz. Compared to some of the other mousses that I love and have mentioned on this channel, this is definitely expensive but in my opinion, definitely worth a repurchase. Well folks, that about wraps up today's empties video. Make sure you drop down in the comments and let me know your thoughts and on your way to watching another video of mine, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Please, please, please be safe and I'll catch you in the next one.